Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on today? I have the meta for Twitch. If you want to become a streamer full time on Twitch, I have the meta for you. But it only works uh, if you're not male, okay? I'm going to be, it only works if you're not male. All right. Amaranth today. Let's let Amaranth, a genius marketing strategy she is with her body. Amaranth out here thinks that the meta for Twitch is to be, to be getting panned. I've had it wrong all along. I should have been banned. First, I gotta go get some work done. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get some work done. Then I can start doing the meta. But Amaranth is out here explaining, saying, hey, listen, look at this. Like, threatening to get banned off Twitch. People go to it. That's negative marketing, baby. Everybody knows that. Why do you think the Paul brothers are so famous? It is what it is. It's how we've been doing. They've been doing this for the past few years, bro. Since 2015. Since the apocalypse, baby. They've been doing this, bro. Negative marketing type bullshit. Gets in the streamers' heads. Gets in the streamers' brains. Gets into the media fingertips. Everybody out here fighting for their fightings and fight, fighting for their titans. And f what, what am I trying? What the fuck am I trying to say? I don't even know. Amaranth is one of the biggest names on the streaming world, right? Millions of followers across all her fucking platforms and OnlyFans. She might be one like one of the richest OnlyFans models next to who's the girl with David Dobrik? I don't even remember her name, but she's got herself her own Ferrari and Lamborghini. So I'm fucking fly, uh, she's way better than me, fuck. But uh, during her time on Twitch, Amaranth was banned quite a few times for her provocative content. You guys already know this. Her provocative content has been everywhere. You can't escape it. If you're on the internet and you know of Twitch, you know of Amaranth. Everybody knows who Amaranth is. There's no way around it. He, she did this interview with the quartering and she basically explains that uh, the Twitch ban is a little too risky for her, but it works out so well for other girls. I don't think it's too risky for you, Amaranth. I think you have everything together. You can you can get banned on Twitch and you'd be fine. You can go to kick. Nobody would bat an eye and everyone would probably move there because your fans are fucking loyal first off. I'm not trying to say go out and get banned, folks, but if you're a female and you're decently good looking and you're okay at video games, oh, oh. And it, I mean, Nadia looks like when Squidward got hit in the face with a door, look at Nadia. Right? Cheating scandal. Cheating scandal on Call of Duty Warzone. Now, she's a booty streamer, bro. Booty stream. She, all she's doing is posting booty meat on tw uh, Twitter. Excuse me. X.com. Whatever the fuck it is now. But she's using examples. I like, think of this. Like the 30-day, 7-day ban. Remember Alinity? Alinity's number skyrocketed when I mean, she was banned for those 3 days. She had to request those, by the way. When she accidentally showed her titty pic. I had to request those. I show speed. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Gone for life. For accidentally flashing at me. I show meat. My bad, bro. Is what it is. Is how it is. What? What the? F Whatever. But, um... That girl, she she uses the example now. This is where it completely changed for me. Like I was like, Amaranth, you're crazy. Ain't nobody gonna believe this. The girl that was banned for sex. Keep in mind, all right. Keep this in mind, all right. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Quadrupled her numbers. Quadrupled them. Like literally, literally has a career on Twitch now because of that incident where she had sex on camera. Holy, f we just unlocked them at a boys. Boys, we gotta start going. To, we gotta go with those surgeries, bro. We gotta get those surgeries. I'm talking out of my ass here. <laughs> I just needed a video to put out. That'd be funny to talk about this. But listen, the meta for Twitch is to get banned or to try and get banned because that's all there is to do on Twitch anymore. Twitch is fucking boring. Nobody wants to be on Twitch. Shit is trash. I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out of here. <laughs>